hands in the spring to begin to breed. The call of the curlew is the sign that spring has arrived for many people. Unfortunately, the numbers of curlew are declining. In Wales, as in many countries in the UK and in Europe, the bird numbers are in steep decline. In Wales, we estimate there are between three and 400 breeding pairs remaining. You know, that is compared to numbers of about 2,000 20 years ago. And we are in real danger of losing curlew for many of our upland areas. Reasons why curlew are in decline in Wales, as in elsewhere in the UK and in Europe, are complex. The main factor leading to the decline is low productivity of chicks. Curlew need to breed at least one chick every other year to maintain populations, and we are nowhere near that level at the moment. The factors affecting productivity are also complex. One of the main ones is predation of both the eggs and chicks. And also another important factor are the changes in modern agricultural practice. Unfortunately, farmers these days are forced to take a crop of either hay or silage much earlier than they would have done in the past. What's been done to help the curlew in Wales? Well, there are 12 areas of Wales where there are teams of dedicated people working for the benefit of curlew. One of these is this area here, the Cluidian Mountains. And in these areas, people are managing habitats. Curlew won't nest in areas of vegetation that are too tall or too dense. They need a clear line of sight from their nest. Another thing that can be done is to use electric fencing to fence out the nests at the egg stage. That then will protect those net eggs during the incubation period. Another strategy we're using is the tagging of curlew in Wales. And that's been done at Fenswixel, an NNR on the boundary between England and Wales, where adult curlew have been tagged with GPS tags that provide data every five minutes of the habitats being used, the areas used for nesting and foraging, which is extremely valuable data to enable us to manage those areas of Fenswixel and the surrounding land properly. If you're asking what you can do to help Curlew in Wales, one of the key things at the moment is that we find out where each and every pair of nesting curlew are at the moment. If you're a landowner or a farmer and you think you have breeding curlew on your land, please let us know. Let me know by email or enter records into Covnot. And that also goes for anyone out and about in the countryside over this spring and summer. If you're someone who's used to recording birds, please do so for the curlew. And anyone out and about who thinks they've seen or heard curlew, please record that information so we can start to help these birds throughout Wales.